hello so guys in this video I'm going to show you how we can set up a high available and highly scalable environment on AWS by using the AWS services called ESG auto scaling group and load balancer application load balancer of AWS so today we will see how we can set up load balancing and how we can set up the auto scaling group in AWS and these two services are being used for highly availability or uh, for auto scaling and for uh, these purposes so let's see how we can achieve that and currently in my architecture uh, I have set up these uh, resources in my environment AWS environment and uh, there is a two availability zones there is a VPC two public subnets and four private subnets there is a net gateway already in the public subnet one and there is a cafe application server there so we will see uh, in a in a minute uh, this architecture but uh, at the end of this lab you will be able to see how we can configure the NAT gateway right in the public subnet 2 and then we will configure our load balancer the auto scaling group right and how we can uh, correctly configure this so that our application should be highly available and highly uh, uh, scalable so this is the, this is the end result that we will achieve in this video so let's get started and before moving that let's first visit our architecture on AWS like we, how we will see that what uh, VPC we have the subnets and the other uh, resources that we have already set up as I can show you here so there are two mm, public subnets and four private subnets so let's just explore those here in AWS management console so go to VPC and I will show you that which VPC we have and I have named it as cafe mm, VPC so let's just explore that and at the end because we have to set up this load balancing and auto scaling so we need to understand our architecture the current architecture so that we can set up those services so first of all let's go to VPC okay and then we can see there are uh, there is a lab VPC right this is already created and there is another VPC which is the default VPC and if I go to subnets you will see there are actually um, these are some custom uh, subnets that are already created uh, two public subnets and four private subnets and similarly there are some route tables already there right and some other stuff is also there there is no net gateway uh, there is only one net gateway currently which is being used here in the private public subnet one and later on we will create a new net gateway in the public subnet two right so guys uh, let's uh, answer these questions so we can understand our current architecture so which ports are open in the cafe security group right so let's understand our uh, cafe security groups so go to security groups so you guys know what the security group is security groups are actually a uh, configuration which uh, actually make it possible to restrict some some uh, requests or we can put some uh, rules in the security group so that we can make it possible that either which uh, service and which uh, person can connect with our service so that's why security group is all about so here we have created a cafe security group and currently we have only allowed the port 80 for anywhere so in anywhere from anywhere uh, on port 80 uh, is allowed on our cafe security group and that is actually attached with our EC2 instance if we want to see and we can open our EC2 instance <coughs> right and we will see that this cafe security group is attached with our EC2 instance right and the next thing is we need to answer is and currently there is only port 80 so the correct answer will be the port 80 which ports are ports are open in the cafe security group there is only port 80 is uh, configured so that's why we can see yep there's only port 80 right uh, no other okay fine and then question number two is can you connect from the internet to instance in the public subnet can we connect if we see the diagram uh, yes we can connect uh, with the instance in the private subnet 
so question is can you connect from the internet to instance in the public subnet one yeah if, if we put any instance here in the public subnet we can easily connect uh, with that instance right because there is a net gateway and there is a internet gateway so that's why we can connect so the uh, can you connect from the internet to the instance in the public subnet one here in the public subnet one so it, the answer will be Mm, yes, if the instance has the public IP address and the security group and network is will allow it. Yep, this could be the answer. And the public subnet has no internet gateway. Mm, no, so the uh, question will be the first one. Mm, can you connect from the internet to the instance in the public subnet one? Yes, if the instance has the public IP address and the security group and network is will allow it. Yep, that's fine. Mm, and the public subnet has no okay so correct answer is this should an instance in the private subnet one be able to reach the internet uh, yes for in, in the private subnet one because in the private subnet one we have a tired net gateway with this private subnet one that's why as you can see here this is the private subnet so private subnet instances can communicate with the net gateway that's why this question uh, the answer of the question number three is yes uh, because an instance in the private subnet can uh, connect uh, and reach to the internet yes answer will be the yes and should an instance in the private subnet to be able to reach the internet no currently not because we have not configured the net gateway yet can you connect to the cafe web server instance from the internet uh, cafe web server instance from the internet no we cannot connect uh, because uh, there are some restrictions on our cafe web server is the instance uh, for in security groups there is only a allow allowed uh, rule is for port 80 so can you connect to cafe web server instance from the internet we cannot connect and question number six is what is the name of the AMI so the name of the AMI is web server AMI no cafe web server image yeah the, this is the name if we want to see if we can go there search for ec2 and then let's see the name of our ami so currently we uh, there's a, uh, there's another ami there so we can see here that we have our cafe web server ami and its name its name is cafe web server image so let's look yep here we go so the name of the ami is cafe web server so the correct answer is this cafe web server image so we have answered all questions so let me just submit these questions one by one So guys now we understand the current architecture of our infrastructure so let's jump into the next task so the first task in while setting up the uh, load balancer and auto scaling is we need to set up the net gateway in our second availability zone right so here uh, so here in our second availability zone there is no net gateway so the instances in the private subnet make will not be able to connect with the internet so that's why we need to set up the net gateway first so let's go to vpc go to net gate gateway and let's create a new net gateway for our uh, prior, uh, second availability zone uh, for the private instances so just click on create net gateway we will name it as cafe net gateway and the subnet will be the uh, we will be using the net gateway in the pro public subnet too right it will be the public locate and elastic ip for our public subnet uh no, for net gateway sorry and then we have to uh, primary private ip address optional if we want to set up any primary private ip so we can set this up but uh, this is not mandatory so let's create net gateway so currently guys we have created the net gateway 
right so we are net gateway is configured now our task is to configure our net gateway so that <coughs> our instances in the private subnet too can make connection with the net gateway and let's go to go to subnets all right and let's see what's what are the route tables in the private subnet too so basically what we are going to do we are going to allow private subnet 2 to communicate with the net gateway in the public subnet 2 right as you can see here the, we have created this net gateway now we are going to configure the private subnet 2 route table uh, to uh, so that uh, now we will we will actually edit the route table of private subnet 2 so with the name of net gateway with the connection of the net gateway so that our private so that instances in the private subnet 2 can make connection with the net gateway and, uh, and obviously with the internet so that's why um, we need to configure the route table of the private subnet 2 so go to subnets and choose private subnet 2 and here we will see the route table attached with this private subnet 2 so this is the route table that is attached with private subnet 2 so we need to edit this route table and we will go to routes and we will edit the routes and we will now attach a new route for anyone to uh, go to NAT gateway and the NAT gateway will be the cafe NAT gateway we have just created in previous steps so save changes now we have successfully configured that how private subnets can communicate with the NAT gateway because we have uh, we have updated the route table of private subnet 2 right this is how private subnet 2 route table will communicate with the NAT gateway and this is done here right and now our next task is creating a bastion host instance in the public subnet so we will create a bastion host in the public subnet so go to ec2 instances and now we will create a bastion host so why we need the bastion host because we want if we later on we want to connect with the instances in the private subnets we will be needing a, a bastion host in order to connect with these instances All right so that's why we need to create a new bastion host instance in order to communicate or connect with our private subnet instances through SSH so I will name it as bastion host right let me grab the name uh, it, the name of our bastion host instance will be the bastion host and okay and then we will pick the AMI uh, Amazon to AMI and then the type will be the d2.micro and for the security group for security group okay let me check the security okay uh, we can use the pocky key pair okay and we can use the key pair let me check mm, for key pair we will using the Woki key pair which is already created right so Woki key pair is already created if you if you don't have this key you must have to create the new key pair as currently I have the Woki key pair so that's why I'm selecting this one and in network setting we must have to select the lab VPC make sure that you are creating this in under lab VPC and the public subnet too uh, you can either because this is the bastion host 2 you can create it in the public subnet 1 or 2 anyway it must be in the public subnet so I'm going to create it in the public subnet 1 and make sure that auto sign IP is enabled and then security group for the security group let me check if there is an instruction for the security group here um, for security group okay uh, only allow the following traffic so we will be allowing this traffic okay so we need to create a security group right so I will call it as bastion bastion host security group bastion host security group right and just uh, type it bastion host security group all right so uh, security group name will be the bastion host security group and what it will allow it will only allow the uh, SSH connection of my IP 
right so I'm going to allow the type will be the SSH and from that uh, source type I will choose my IP and it will connect it will automatically detect my IP of my current laptop system IP and I will name it as thick IP right and now let's scroll down <coughs> and uh, either we can specify some interface and primary IP here if we want to these are some advanced details we don't need for now and the default storage will be 8 GB and all other settings will be the default so I'll just skip all other default settings and go to launch temp instance pattern so now our bastion host instance will be created in our alright our instance is created now uh, our bastion host instance is created successfully so guys now bastion host is created now next step is creating a launch template now uh, officially we are going to create auto scanning group in AWS how we can uh, implement this uh, AWS service on AWS so in the first step is to long create a launch template so go to EC2 instance and go to launch template right so this is the first step that we need to create a launch template for our auto scaling group so first of all we need to create a new launch template click on create launch template okay and we will call it as uh, launch uh, template okay um 18 launch template 18 December right this will be the name of our launch template and you can specify the version as one after that we can specify some template logs and tags here um, we can set up some template tags okay so let me check if we can grab some information here for tags Okay, mm, we can set up <coughs> this tag. Yep, for our uh, launch template, this will be the tag. Okay, and we can add a tag. We can type the name, and the tag value will be web server. Okay, and go here. Paste it here and scroll down and for AMI we will be using an AMI that we have already created and which is cafe web server AMI image so make sure that you have a correct AMI of your application so for launch template you must have to specify the AMI uh, so it is very important because if your application AMI is not there so you will not be able to create auto scaling group so it is very important that for which application server you are going to create the auto scaling group so you must have to create the AMI first and then you have to provide the AMI in the launch template alright then for instance type you can uh, choose any instance type so I'm going to choose t2.micro let me grab this t2.micro ok it's t3 uh, let me grab any other okay so it is hanged uh, okay now it's coming up t2 dot micro yep here it is so we have selected the t2 dot micro instance type and for the key pair okay for key pair let me check if we can use existing key pair <coughs> okay okay so use a new key pair so actually we will create a new key pair right so click on create a new key pair and we will call it as okay <coughs> now we will call it as um, ASG key pair right I will call it as ASG key pair and it will be there because I have the Ubuntu operating system so I'm going to use this .pem file uh, create key pair 
okay so this is the key we have downloaded and selected for our launch template uh, so later on once our ISG will launch new instances uh, this key will be attached with those instances so make sure that you choose the appropriate key for your instances if you want to connect with those instances and in the network settings for subnet uh, we don't have to include it, the subnets in the launch template because uh, it will automatically be selected uh, so right here we don't have to specify any subnet value right but for the security group I think we have to create a new security group let me check it out from the instructions uh, for the security group Okay, uh, there is a cafe security group so make sure that we select a security group because remember in previously we have seen that there was a cafe security group uh, and that cafe security group has uh, the one rule which is only allowing the port 80 right so make sure that you select the cafe security group in the launch template and we can now move to the storage value and this is default is correct 8 GB for this uh, demo purpose lab so we will be using the 8 GB volume and resource tags I can put some resource tag for the uh, okay so for resource tag we will be using okay for resource tag we will be using name okay so we will be using the name and the web server okay this will be the resource tag value okay and let's scroll down in the advanced details you make sure that we select the IM instance profile and this will this is very important because once uh, IAM roles are basically giving permission uh, giving permission to different services to communicate with each other so this is very important that whatever services you are going to use you must have to create the IAM role so that you can attach to in under your launch template so it can communicate with those services so currently we have the cafe role which is allowing some SSM permissions for our infrastructure so that launch template can communicate with those uh, services so actually our infrastructure will be able to communicate through this IAM role with the other services and all other settings is default so it is correct so let's just click on create launch template so this is as simple so we have just created our launch template now and the next thing is we need to create an auto scaling group right so now let's move back to ec2 page and now let's go to la auto scaling group so that we can create the auto scaling uh, group right so here the uh, here is the auto scaling group so let's click on the auto scaling group and now we are going to create auto scaling group right so click on create auto scaling group name it as um, cafe ASG auto scaling group December 18 right and I'm going to use the launch template that I have just created which was web server launch template 18 December yes this is the launch template that we have created right and then these are all the information are selected go next click on the next button and now here we will be selecting the lab vpc and for the availability zone we must have to select two AZs. so uh, this is the vpc and so first select the two AZs. so let me see uh, which uh, AZ we must have to select in the auto scaling group so create an auto scaling group with the vpc and subnets there must be two subnet uh, private subnet 1 and private subnet 2 so there must be two subnets under auto scaling and those must be private subnets so there will be a private subnet 1 and private subnet 2 so these subnets uh, private subnets must be selected in the auto scaling group and all good so far so click next and here 
we can define the load balancer but for this uh, this step we are just skipping this because later on we will create a load balancer separately and just click next and here we will be using the uh, capacity for our auto scaling group so I'm going to select the 2 2 and 6 so minimum will be uh, 6 2 and then after that we will get another instance okay there is auto scaling policy in protection so we need to enable enable instance scale in protection or we can enable this policy but we need to select this target tracking scaling policy and it is based on CPU utilization so we are going to use 25 so our target value must be 25 and here we can select we can choose 60 there we go so you can just type 60 here so guys basically uh, what value we are specifying here is uh, its mean is that if our EC2 instance CPU utilizations exceed from 25% the new instance will be launched and why we have set up this mm, low value because we just want to test it because this is just a demo, demo purpose video so that's why for your infrastructure you must have to select this for 80 or 90 so that uh, according to your application right so that's why uh, this is how auto scaling this is the value uh, based on that scaling group will create a new instance or will decrease an instance so just click on the next button skip to okay and click next and here we can mm, just click next and here all we have set up the settings in the auto scaling group and click create auto scaling group all right so guys finally we have created the auto scaling group and we can refresh it and now we will see uh, either okay let's refresh it keep refreshing and before that we also can confirm from the instances let's see okay can you see that there are two new instances under pending state so these are created by auto scaling group so it means our auto scaling group is working perfectly okay so currently the status is not giving but the desired capacity and minimum and maximum and currently there are two instances so this is how we can easily set up the auto scaling group so what now let me just summarize the auto scaling first of all we have to create the launch template and where we will provide the information for our application the including the AMI and then we need to create the auto scaling group and that launch template will be uh, uh, provided in the auto scaling group and the capacity that we want like uh, what will be the desired capacity minimum and maximum capacity so this is all about the auto scaling how we can set up the auto scaling all right now next uh, we need to set up the load balancer so let's just go to load balancer and see how we can create the load balancer so go to ec2 console go to load balancer section right and here we will create a new load balancer for our application okay so click on create load balancer and we are going to use application load balancer okay so click on create application load balancer and we will name it as application load balancer 18 December yeah. this will be the name of our load balancer and then the load balancer will be internet facing and instance type IP address type will be the IPv4 VPC need to select the lab VPC our load balancer will be on under lab VPC because our whole infrastructure is under lab VPC and here we need to specify the subnets okay so first of all we need to specify uh, two AZs for our load balancer and make sure that you select the public subnet here because load load balancer works on public subnets only so basically in the background there will be two public subnets uh, where load balancer will be running 
and it will uh, route traffic to our applications so public subnet 1 and public subnet 2 I have selected these two public subnets for our load balancer and for security group uh, we need to uh, either select a security group let me check from the instruction uh, create a new security group okay for the load balancer we will create a new security group that allows only HTTP traffic from anywhere right so let me create a new security group for this load balancer so click on create security group and here we will actually create a new security group for our load balancer which will only allow HTTP traffic on port 80 and this critical will uh, security group will be attached with the load balancer okay so the name of the security group will be security group 18 December load balancer and the description will be security group only no need to provide details you can if you want to and for VPC just cancel this and select the lab VPC so that uh, you are creating the security group under lab VPC and here we need to add a new rule and that will be the port of uh, traffic for the HTTP right and we will be using for anywhere so this is only raw rule we are putting inside this uh, security group right which will be used in the load balancer so click create security group now the name of our security group is sg uh, 19 mm, 19 dc load balancer so let's select this load balancer here in the load uh, select this security group in the load balancer this is uh, the security group that we have created sg1 uh, 19 uh, sg19 security group 19 dc load balancer so i'm going to cancel the default one so this is the security group we will be using in the load balancer and then listening here we can specify the https listener as well but currently we are not going to use because this is just testing if and for your application if you are setting up this for production and you have your application on ssl you have the SSL for your application and you are setting up for HTTPS then you can add a new listener for HTTPS right but currently we have only HTTP so we need to we need to set up the target group here so that so guys why uh, what is the target group here is uh, basically target group is a uh, is a tool of load balancer which contains set of EC2 instances so set a number of EC2 instances packed into one secure target group so uh, the load balancer will actually automatically get the instances from that target group to load the tra uh, to distribute the traffic to those instances so in the, so basically inside the load balancer there is a target group and under the target group there will be some instances of our application so this is how load balancer works so uh, currently we don't have any target group so we need to create a new one okay so let me name this target group and okay let's see uh, the target group okay so we are creating the target group for the instances and we can name it as target group okay target group and 18 December and the lab APC HTTP when the all settings will be okay advanced cell checks no need to specify just click next and here we can register targets but currently we are not going to register any target just click on the create target group you don't have to create the you don't have to register any target instance in this target group later on it will be automatically allocated to this target group so we have created this tg18 december so let me refresh it and uh, select this uh, tg18 december target group from here so that we have just created and now we are going to actually create 
this load balancer so finally we are all we have all set so let me just go down and create our load balancer here so this will actually create our load balancer 